Aries, it's Suzanne. Welcome or welcome back. Um, this is your love reading for March of 2019. All of the cards have been pre-shuffled. I'm using the Celtic Tarot deck in this uh, reading. These cards, I really, really love them. Not just because they're easy to shuffle, <laughs> but um, I really, I, I feel like I get really strong readings um, from these cards. One more. Whoops. Sometimes they're too easy. Okay, <clears throat> what do we have? for Aries in love for March of 2019. Ooh, yay. All right, we've got the sun, happy times. Very nice. Just pure joy and success. So what is this talking about? Okay, we've got the, the two of pentacles. It's the two of shields in this deck. But, you know, the Two of Pentacles, you know, I know that, um, you know, this is considered juggling um, something right now, uh, probably juggling resources of some kind. Um, I don't get this as being negative, really, in any way. Um, I feel like it could be just your priorities. You know, you might be juggling priorities right now around what is going to make you the happiest. So you might be shifting things a little bit right now. You know, and this also can mean, you know, while you're shifting your priorities and finding more balance, you're having more fun. I'm feeling a very, very light, happy, fun energy here. This might be a new, this might be a new relationship too. We have four of wands. Okay. Very nice card. So four of wands is about, it can be about a sense of freedom or building a foundation right now. So that would make sense that you might be, you know, shifting or juggling your priorities a little bit, maybe to have more fun or to plan a, a wedding. That's what this feels like. <laughs> this feels very much like somebody is planning their wedding and you're shifting your priorities to be able to do that. Totally. Yeah, just just a very free, light, joyful energy. Um, Ace of Wands. <laughs> so, you know, what is a marriage? It's a new beginning. Um, you know, and this is taking action on a new beginning, such as a marriage, a wedding. It could be that you are trying to decide if you're going to elope. Gosh, you don't hear that word very often anymore. Um, maybe you're going to Vegas to um, do a little quickie uh, wedding. There's just a sense of fun and freedom, and I. This this reading I can tell you right now is not going to be for everybody. And if you're happy and and planning a wedding, that's that's fantastic. The chariot. So, again, some a little energy of which direction you know, are we going in? Are we going to elope? Or are we going to, you know, have a, a nice big wedding? This could involve travel as well. Another storyline here, um, 
that might be for the, the bigger group of Aries is that somebody is deciding to potentially travel to see somebody that they, they see as a potential life partner, which would indicate a new beginning in romance. This could be a one night stand or starting off that way. <laughs> um, but again, very fun, happy, sunny energy, potentially building a foundation and traveling to see somebody to do it. That's the other direction that this could go in. And then we have the hangman, okay? So you could be getting some enlightenment about how you're prioritizing this. You know, I, I this feels like a, a very fast moving decision, even though, you know, with the Two of Pentacles, generally that's not a fast decision. It still feels fast with the, the Chariot and the Ace of Wands and the Sun. It feels like you're very sure about what you want. And you, you know, you've, you've had your enlightenment about what it is that you want. But this is, this is extremely positive. I'm going to clarify the, the Ace of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. So I'm going to place the card right here on what you're juggling and what this, you know, potential new beginning that you're taking action on is. Interesting. Okay, so we've got we've got the four of swords. So the four of swords is your is kind of the opposite of energy of the ace of wands, which is you're kind of thinking something over, you're taking a break from something. You know, and it could be in this Two of Pentacles energy, you know, with juggling that you're just thinking about, you know, which direction you're going to go in or how you're going to prioritize whatever, whatever this new beginning is. Nine of Shields, which is Nine of Pentacles. Lots of Earth energy in this reading. So... The Nine of Pentacles, you know, you feel that this is something that you deserve. That will bring you comfort and security. Whatever this move is you're making. <laughs> um... This still feels very wedding to me. And it feels like somebody's traveling to do it. I honestly I feels like an elopement to me. I just I don't and it feels extremely happy. All of it feels very happy to me and very positive. What are you thinking about? One more card here. What? What is Aries thinking about here? Didn't give me a lot of information. Six of Wands. Six of Wands. You feel that whatever decision that you're making is is a victory for all involved. 
it feels successful to you, you know it's going to be successful. I just feel like it's a reading of having your all of your ducks in a row. Whatever, wh whatever this is. If it is some type of, you know, marriage on the fly or if it's a, you know, a decision that you're making to go to somebody that you feel you can build, you know, this solid foundation with that's going to make you happy. I just I feel like you're, you're set in your head about this. You see it as a victory. You, you know, you may not have taken action on this yet. This might be something that's coming. But yeah, it feels extremely positive. Let's see. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this to validate this for us. So we have, it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give, and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, so if you're the person that's potentially, you know, traveling to meet up with this person and start something anew, it is safe for you to do so. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So I think that can apply, both can apply to either storyline, you know, whether you, you know, are moving forward to go elope or have a, a quick wedding, or, you know, this is something new that you're, you're starting up, you feel victorious about it, and this could be the romance of a lifetime. There's nothing dark here. You know, I mean, that's the bottom line. There's nothing dark here. It's very, very positive. Whatever direction you're going in, you feel victorious in it. You've been enlightened somehow along the way. And you feel very comfortable. You feel like this is a choice that's going to make you very comfortable and stable. And either start a foundation or build on a foundation that you already have. I feel like saying congratulations. <laughs> so, however that applies to you, Aries. All right, so that's what I have for you for the month of March. Um, could be a phenomenal month for a lot of you. And uh, I will talk to you next week. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.